I should have made that left turn. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. Sugar and spice. When I put that Cooper gang on ice. Riz? No way I'm letting this chump get away. Bombs away! <laughs> the Murray's got a beef with you, punk! <laughs> Murray! We have to help him! Wait a sec, guys. Murray can handle this. What? Yeah, it's okay. Bentley's right. My money's on the hippo. Oh, snap! What have we here? It's a pink nightmare. Pink nightmare. Trust me, pal. <laughs> you ain't dreaming. I'm tired of you, Cooper Chunks. The paradox, everybody. All I ever really wanted to do is skate. That's right. Uh, okay? No, 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 no. It ain't okay. You know why the Grizz love skating? It's clean, man. It's like just me and the ice. No complications, no hassles, no worries. Ever since I was a little kid, a little cub, it's the only time I truly feel free. And now, you Cooper punks roll in and you gonna spoil my dream? Well, it ain't going down like that. You better check the script, fat man, because the Grizz is about to show you how to skate time. Oh, man, this won't take quite a minute. It's going down. Okay. Yeah, oh, I think I'm gonna die. What am I supposed to do? Thank <laughs> you. 
And I'm dead.
Come on, come on. You can't do what I do. Ha! You think you can skate to this? No way you can copy the grid. My grandma skates better than you. <laughs> you try to keep up, big stuff. Join out, bitch. Nice moves, Murray. You were great. That performance was definitely a ten, pal. Murray. Thanks, guys. I guess this makes up for all my screw-ups lately. Murray, we all make mistakes. It happens. But it doesn't matter because we're a team. And we all have each other's backs. That's why we're unbeatable. Yeah, what he said. Today, you were the hero, Murray. And don't you forget it. Aw, oh, shucks. Hey, I'm starved. Anybody bring anything to eat? French fries? Pizza? Anything? An apple, even? Carmelita had cooled off a bit, but she hadn't forgiven me yet, and I really couldn't blame her. The last thing she wanted to do was join up with a bunch of thieves, something that went against everything she stood for. I could tell it was a tough decision, but in the end, she knew it was probably her only shot at busting the paradox. Dimitri was happy to finally hear from us, as he'd been worried his bros were warping their faces off, whatever that meant. He pointed us to our next destination, medieval England. And as it turned out, Grizz's crown was the perfect object to get us there. So although we'd only uncovered this Ice Age scheme by accident, luck was definitely on our side. And we left in a confident mood, ready to tackle whatever fate had in store for us. Yeah. We'd come to merry old England to locate my ancestor, Sir Galleth Cooper, a gallant knight who founded the Cooper Order. Unfortunately, what we found was anything but regal. Sir Galleth had been reduced to performing in a local circus as a jester, complete with ridiculous costume. The villainous stench of La Paradox hung over the entire area. We didn't know what was going on yet, but we knew it wasn't good. To make matters worse, we still had no information about Penelope. Bentley wasn't letting it show, but I knew deep down he was pretty worried. Hopefully we would find some answers soon. But first, we had to go to the circus. Ooh. Mm -hmm.